Fantastic. It's time now to start talking about enlargements. Yeah, a type of transformation you will encounter uh, most likely uh, a lot. Yeah, we have done reflection, rotation, translations, now enlargements, and a transformation in general changes the position or the shape of an object. Uh, for instance, a triangle, and sometimes both. Okay. Now, for enlargements, they're always going to give you two pieces of information. First of all, they're going to give you a center of enlargement, and secondly, a scale factor. Now, I've already drawn this object, this triangle for you, I've named it A, and I've given you the center of enlargement. Yeah, I put a big dot over there. And let's say the scale factor is 2. Okay, now, this really is nothing yeah, uh, to worry about. Uh, unfortunately, many students do. Again, vertex by vertex, I'll do it in pink, yeah? Point by point, this point. I'm going straight to my center of rotation, which makes or gives me a distance of two. And then after the enlargement, the distance needs to be two times two, and the scale factor is two. So that point is going to be four away from my center, so it's going to be here. Okay, and if I would name this point A, that is going to be A apostrophe. Okay, now let's have a look at the original point there of the triangle. Yeah, how far is it away uh, uh, from the center? It is yeah eight centimeters, which is four of these blocks away. So with a scale factor of two, yeah, with a scale factor of enlargement of two, the four blocks are going to be. Eight blocks away okay so one two three four five six seven eight so it's going to be over there so if the original point of triangle A was called point B then that is going to be B apostrophe and as you can see it used to be too long yeah that particular length of the triangle and now how many blocks is it long what do you think with a skill factor of two it is going to be four long, one, two, three, four. And what about this length now? It used to be one, two, three long. So with a scale factor of two, how many blocks is it going to be long? If it was three, it is going to be six long. There we go. And then we can just finish it, can't we? So if that was C, that is going to be C apostrophe. Okay, and the entire triangle is going to be triangle A. Apostrophe. Now, that last point, point C, or C apostrophe, I just found by multiplying this length by 2, yeah? But let me just check if that is right. If from my center of enlargement, yeah, towards the original point C, I go 2 to the right and then 3 up, then after the enlargement, I need to go 4 to the right and six up, yeah? You multiply everything by the skill factor, which happens to be two in this particular case, okay? So that is enlargement. You're gonna get a skill factor and you are going to get a center of enlargement, yeah? Now in the next video, I'm gonna show you what will happen if the skill factor is 0 0.5, yeah? So what happens if the skill factor is between zero and one? Yeah, you're going to think about that. And then I'll have a video about, well, what if the skill factor is a negative, let's say, minus three? What is going to happen then? Yeah. And finally, I'm going to show you, if I have those two images, how can I find the center of enlargement? Okay. So still quite some work to do. But don't worry, if you have a look at all those videos, you are going to do excellent. Next video.